fellas, it's 11.25 in the morning, um, the coach shut off from Milton King and Don's about 25 minutes ago, we're currently on the motorway going to oh, yeah. Southern London, we're going to do a couple of fan camps by the time we get to Sutton, so we'll see you there. Thoughts, guys? A lot, lot mental. Last year we were playing away a lot of Bolton and Sheffield Wednesday and then John Smith. It's not exactly the best thing in the world, but it's alright. We'll have to do today. Would say I've seen worse, but I've not seen Of course, of course. I've got to say, this is probably the weirdest stadium I've ever been to. In the spot. What can we expect? They've only been in the EFL for two years. I must say the pitch is nice, that's about it. I'm back guys, I'm John Bullard from MK Fellas, this is Ryan Wilshire. Hello. So Ryan will be taking an interview with Barry. Ryan, take it away. So, today, Gilby's in the lineup. he's the club captain. Lewington returns to the lineup. what do you make of that? As the biggest Lewington fan in the city. Brilliant. Really? Absolutely. What, you, you think that Lewington might have been stripped from the captaincy is brilliant? Well, he'll be pretty good. Because you see him since the start of the season, how you control the team and stuff. Lewington was a good captain in the time that he had. But all good things come to an end. And uh, I'm glad Lewington's dropped down. May I ask you a question? Yes. Do you think the club are facing Lewington out and this may be his last season? Do I hard fear at the moment? He is he won't see much of Lewington this season. Mm -hmm. But I think yes, he'd be being phased out. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a sad period for the club. It will be sad, mm -hmm. but he's done well for the club and loyal to the club. So yeah, it's very we can't argue. Mm -hmm. So can we get a score prediction from the game? Well I make I'd like to have a big uh, clean sheet. Everybody's predicting a six goal, uh, but I'm, I just like a win full stop and just to get a clean, clean sheet and get up that table again. So, a win would take us up to third today. How does that make you feel? Better than last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last week I skipped work by four hours and went to the game. And when I told Alexander that on Tuesday, he, all he could do was apologise to me. Well, Tuesday was a total different game altogether. I'd just been told that uh, we've got the same lineup as Tuesday. No. No? No. So Mo Issa and, Har and Harrison are up front. And um, Gilby's. So that's going to be a strong lineup with the strikers. And then we've got Stuart back in the starting lineup. Tucker's been dropped. Dean's been dropped. Harvey's been dropped. Um, yeah. Well, okay. Thank you for that. No, Barry. thank you for the information. I much appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you for. Thank you. Coming on to the MK Fellows. <laughs> I'm John Bullard, this is Ryan Wilshire from MK Fellas. Over to you. Hi John, so I'm right. yeah. going to ask you for a um, scoreline today. All right, 1 0 to us. Who do you reckon the score is going to be, John? Oh, I, I think Mo will do it. Thank you, John. It, yeah. Charlie? Scoreline today? 1 0. Scorer? Tap it in second half, Lico is in. It's going to be a scrappy goal. That's my prediction. All right, thanks, Charlie. So, um, I'm here at Gander Green Lane, home of Sutton United, and I'm here with uh, an MK Dons fan. And nice to meet you, nice to meet you too, dude. So, would you like to talk to me about today's game? Um, 
MK Dons away at Sutton. Um, so can we ask you for a scoreline today, dude? Uh, we're going to go 2-1. 2-1 to the Dons. And Go yeah. on, you Dons. <laughs> OK, who we, who's scoring today? Uh, well, Leco if he starts. And Mo Asa. Got to nice. have, have faith in our number 10. Yep. And what did you think of our game last week against... Uh, yeah, Stockport County. Yeah, you don't want to know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that one silent. Okay, at the minute. So, are we hoping for changes in the squad today? A few changes in the back three. Mm -hmm. And then from midfield onwards, Jack Payne needs to start. And then forwards stay the same. Okay, no good. worries. All right, thanks for your time, Paul. Hey, you're welcome. Uh, I'm John from Cape Fellas. I thought that the changes were going to bring a change to the team, but the tactics have been the same. Long ball, long ball, long ball. Even with Ellis Harrison in the team, 
he's not winning every single header, and even when we do, it's not really, we're not there to bring it up. We're not passing it well enough, we're not creating chances. Jack Payne's been my best player, um, I think the best player so far. Um, I think Norman's looked poor, a horror learned to both look off the pace. The midfield just, I don't think that midfield three is working at the moment. Um, I think substitutes wise, I think we need to go to a 5 2 3. I'll bring Lecker on, take off either Issa or Harrison, play Payne off the right, inverted, um, and bring off Norman and play Tomlinson off the right hand side and bring on Dan Harvey. Um, maybe we could bring Jack Tucker on, but we will see. Come on, you dons. We like it, we like it. Thank you for taking your time to watch our video. Please get your friends to like and subscribe. 